Hey guys, this is Scott the Steen Roller Steen coming to you from deep in the bowels of the Winners and Winers Sports and Entertainment Complex to bring you today's day three. As always, you know the drill. If you're having some fun digging what we're doing, maybe you even made a buck or two yesterday. Whatever the reason, we appreciate it. If you'd smash that thumb, give us a little bit of like. And of course, don't forget to check out each and every day, 3 p.m. Eastern, 2 p.m. Central, right here on the YouTubes. We do our show live as we head back to the window with my pal Scott Reichel and I looking at that day's games and uh, breaking them down, including our uh, now famous Bet the Farm play. And uh, naturally, guys, we want to know what you're betting the farm on today. Whatever plays you got cooked up, throw them in the comment section. Hey, man, you get them right, we'll give you the shout out, the recognition that you deserve. When you get enough of them right, you could be the capper of the day. So... Quick recap of yesterday's action. Today was a good day. Didn't even have to use my AK. Uh, clean sweep of the board, kids. Uh, we had the, the premium side. Uh, we had the Ui Pui under 127. Yes, sir. We had the uh, NBA Sacramento King Charlotte Hornets over 228. Those both cashed. Uh, as far as our play of the day on the free side, we had the Cal State Northridge, North Dakota State, under 226.5. That number plummeted down to, or excuse me, 126.5. That number plummeted down to 123, but still cash as it landed 122. Congratulations, all the winners there. And we did, for the seventh day in a row, hit our bet the farm play. It looked a little grim about halftime, but the Murray State Racers came roaring back in the second half and not only covered the number, but beat it, uh, beat, beat, uh, won the game outright. So, 4-0. Ain't going to happen every day, but you know what? We're damn happy when it does, and we will take it. So let's roll on with today's action. By the way, if you're looking for premium plays, I do have five plays locked and loaded for today over on the premium side. So check that out if you are so inclined. All right, guys. Uh, taking a look at today's action, we have a... Uh, we have a smorgasbord here, kids. We have a little something from column A, a little something from column B, a little something from column C. We're going to start off with the only D1 college football game going on this weekend. It's the Navy Midshipmen against the Army Black Knights coming to you live from New Jersey. We're going to play a teaser here, kids. About the only way I can get my mind around this. We're going to play Army minus the one, and we're going to play under 41. We're going to take a six-point teaser don't tease a lot of college football, but I think this may be a good spot for us. You know, Navy's been playing better lately. That is true. They've covered three of their last four, but this Army rush defense is going to be the best they've faced all year. And yes, I'm including Cincinnati in that group. Uh, this Navy team uh, played against Air Force earlier in the season, put up just 68 total yards against the, uh, against the cadets, losing 23-3. to The bad news is Army does everything Air Force does, only a little bit better. Uh, three big differences for me in this one. First is a quarterback. Anderson is a better quarterback, quarterback than Levitai. Levitai actually is still nursing that sore neck that he got earlier in the season. He's questionable for this one. I expect him to go, but he may not be able to go the whole game. Uh, secondly, this Army rush defense, as I mentioned before, is absolutely elite. And, of course, they practice against the triple option quite a bit. So I look for them to stone that Navy rushing attack. Finally, I know we talk about this every time we play Army. Army leads the nation in yards per attempt. They are not afraid to take a shot down the field. And I have a prediction for this one. Give me the hot take button. I think the Army completes at least one big pass down the field, 30 plus yards. All right. Give me Army minus one parlay, or excuse me, tease it with the Army Navy under 41. Moving to college basketball, we're going to play the Drake-Clemson game. Clemson uh, is a two-and-a-half-point favorite neutral court for this one. We're going to take the Tigers, kids. Now, make no mistake, we're not going to see either one of these teams in the Final Four, okay? Uh, Drake has struggled, especially away from home, allowing a shooting, opponents to shoot over 50% from the field. Now, these teams uh, have some similar stats, but the Tigers played a much tougher schedule. While Drake has uh, their most recent wins by 10 against St. Thomas as a 22-point favorite and against the dreaded University of Nebraska-Omaha, they won that one by 8 as a 20-point fave. This team is underperforming so far this season. They covered their first game, and they haven't covered since. You know what? We loved the Drake last year. 
We love them again this year, just for different reasons. Give me Clemson minus the two and a half. And we're going to finish it up with a steam machine special. Uh, for those of you that watch our live show, you know I talk to my kid every once in a while. My son has uh, been working on his hockey system. So I've got an ROI about 20% over about 30 days. I'm going to lay out a pick here for you guys, all right? I have no justification other than this is one of the kids' parlays. It is going to be the Minnesota Wild on the money line and the over five and a half. It's going to play plus 216 for your $100 bet. And that's going to be our third play. That is a straight parlay. No teaser involved there. So uh, get yourself down on the Minnesota Wild money line and the over five and a half plus 216. Clemson minus two and a half. And we'll start off the day with the Navy Midshipmen and the Army Black Knights. Take Army minus one and the total stays under 41. At the end of those three, you guys can join me as we pick up our winning tickets and head back to the window. All right, guys. You know how I did? Let's uh, let's see how y'all did. There were some mighty fine days out there. Let's take a look. The old T-Train going 1-0 plus 500. He had the Raptors minus 1. Thomas Bow T-Bow 1-0 plus 200. He had Charlotte plus 1.5. Corey Graves going 2-0-1 plus 200. Uh, Kara goes 1-0 plus 500. By the way, a retroactive shout-out for uh, Zewa Carter, uh, the former, the artist favorite, formerly known as Memon Thunderberg. He went 1-0 plus 500 yesterday as he had the Jazz minus three. So my apologies, Bevin, for missing you there. Uh, Sean O'Reilly went 1-0, plus 500. He had the Knicks and the Raptors under the 208. Uh, Z.Y. Carter, the, the uh, formerly mentioned uh, Z.Y. Carter. Z.Y. Carter, it's uh, for Z.Y. Taneo. So it's, I want to know, dude, had you ever been to Z.Y. Taneo before you saw um, uh, Shaw Zhang? Because that's the first place I ever heard about. It looks like a cool place. I, he sees he's got a place down there. So that's what I want to know. Did it, which came first? Uh, had a fine day today. Did uh, Ziwa Carter going 5-0 and o plus 600. Well done. Uh, Buddy's House of Food. Perfect day. 1-0 and o plus 500. Doc Brown goes 2-2. Two and two. And Doc, you had JMU minus 7. My feeble brain couldn't figure it out, buddy. I'm thinking James Madison. I couldn't find them anywhere. I know they didn't play on Friday night. So if you could help me out there, let me know if you won that one or not. I'd appreciate it. But your cap for the day, kids. Stop me if you've heard this song before. Uh, you know him. You love him. He did all right earlier in the week. He did all right last night. It's Jay Seaton going 1-0 plus 25. Hondo, as he had Jaron Allen to score at least 20 points. And Cleveland wins the game outright. That pays plus 500. Jay Seaton, congratulations, sir. 1-0 plus 2,500. You! Again, are the capper of the day. Well done to you. Well done to the rest of you guys. A lot of perfect nights out there. Way to set it up as we head on into the weekend. You guys have a great day. Don't forget to check out Scott and I a little bit later today, 3 p.m. Eastern, 2 p.m. Central, as we do our NFL show on this beautiful Saturday. You guys have a great day. Let's cash some tickets today, all right? Good luck on all your plays. We'll see you tomorrow.